On today's episode of Almost Above Average, we sit down with author Felicia Covington and the owners of m M&M Publications, Country and Carolyn McRae, and we discuss hosting a book signing event in our home city, Raleigh, North Carolina. Please give this podcast a follow and stay tuned to find out the details of this big event. Leave us a five-star rating and please share with a friend. You can reach the show at bigmedia.network.llc at gmail.com. Now let's go now to that conversation. Now, friends around. Let's get your new car, please. Ooh, okay. We can show off now. Uh, uh, what, you, what you got? It's a Nissan Kick. A Nissan Kick. Great, great. It's a 2021 oh, Nissan Kick. Nice. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Thank I'm going to get a truck soon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. So what's going on, y'all? We this are. is your wife, Cougar, right? Yes, That's, this is my wife, yeah. Carolyn. Hi, Carolyn, nice to meet you. I'm Chris. Yes, yes. This is my wife, Carolyn. Yeah. Carolyn Getter McRae. This is the one that's my sidekick. We do all duos on book, urban fiction novels. Nice. Yes. Yes, sir. And you are the both owners of CE or uh, M and M publications, right? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I said that yes, correctly. <laughs> yes, you did. Yes, you did. Okay. Thank you. Good deal. So I figured I'd just record it just in case it, you know, maybe I'll release it as a podcast. We'll see. <laughs> Most definitely. Most definitely. Yeah. So you guys had some ideas, right? Oh, sure. Um, make media network and Eminem publications. I really want us to come together and take it to the next level. Um, I feel that together we have a lot to bring to the public and also to the, to the hopeless as well. Um, and we really want to put together a book signing event, um, for the public, you know, um, so they'll get to know more about Eminem publications and that there is hope, you know what I mean? As far as being successful. Man, I thought of that today, um, of having a book signing event. That's funny that you bring that up. Mm-hmm. Cause I was thinking about that already. Yes. So I think that's a good idea. So maybe we do, well, we've already done a podcast with her book and you sent me your book as well, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It should be there shortly. Okay. So uh, what I'm thinking is maybe I still want to do like a, a solo podcast with you and about your book, like we did yes, with, for Felicia, with Felicia. So maybe we'll do that. So we got to figure out, let's, figure out what this event looks like because i can promote the hell out of it we got to try to find a place right a place to do it at exactly exactly and 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 i want it to be for everybody because everyone deserves a chance of literature you know absolutely um, yeah you you get what i'm coming from so i feel it'll be a great event also in returning back to the home soil where it all began for all of us because i'm in philly but i am from (laughs) north carolina I am okay. from the Triangle area. Yeah. I'm just All a right. Duke fan. You're a North Carolina State fan, and she's a Tar Heel fan. That's the only problem. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> the whole book context of basically in North Carolina. Yeah, and everything is basically yeah. in North Carolina. So. so North Carolina it is. Yeah, so I, I like that. Let's do it. <laughs> so so does that, do we that. think that's going to be at like a, a bookstore? Um, well, we're trying to get it all planned and situated out. I'm going to make a few calls from up here. Um, I'm trying to really find like a nice coffee shop maybe. And um, we maybe can go from there or somewhere close around North Carolina, North Carolina State University, somewhere like that. Um, you know, because the books basically deal with different areas of culture diversity. And right. I feel like it's a lesson in all stories for everybody to learn from it. You know, it's not oh. black, white green or whatever it's about yeah. overcoming the odds you get what i'm coming from and yes. things do happen in life and they could happen in life but also what are you going to do about it as far as overcoming it you know what i mean right yeah i mean and the whole that that whole message is the same as i have like i want to help people and if we're gonna get people to read books in the process yeah uh-huh. let's do that too right we want people to read we want people to be literate um yeah. i think that's a great idea yes sir so we need also, a place. Uh, yes. What's that? Okay, also, I got an idea. Yes. I got an idea. To us. Yeah. What about um what do you think about place at the table, Chris? That is perfect. That is do you perfect. know do you know the guys there? I'm gonna take some notes here. Okay, because I was gonna do some writing down. Um it's a place here, country called Place at the Table. 
Yes. And okay. um, it's like a lot of people that's homeless. Um, all types of walks of people come to this place and have yeah. breakfast. It's yeah. a nice little place. I mean, it's got enough room, seating and whatnot. Area and that might be a really easy in for us because of the message, yeah. because of the it's connected to healing transitions. So uh -huh. maybe yes. we go to breakfast and chat them up there and, and see if we can't get in. I bet yes, they'd let us do it. Yeah, yeah, that definitely sounds great. I feel like by us having a meeting of, meeting of the minds, I feel like everything can come together, man. I, I really yeah. do. Because one thing I see in all of our eyes is not only hunger for success, but it's also reaching out to the ones who really need us as far as feeling lost, help building them up as well to let them know that, hey, you can do this too, you know? Absolutely, absolutely. I think as long as that message is always part of anything that we do together, then we could do anything, yeah. you know? Sure. I think as long as we're helping people and they're trying yeah. to help, <laughs> I think that's a great idea. Okay, so we... I mean, I see Mac Media Network really like as far as some film and movies, documentaries and everything. You know what that's I'm the goal. <laughs> yeah. And I feel yeah. like this will be the beginning. This will be the beginning for all of that. You get what I'm coming sure. from? Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. Yes. That would be great. I mean, I'm, I've been paying promoters um, to beef up my like YouTube account and Spotify to try to get the podcast as the main, as a big thing. You know, everyone watches my social media, but I want everyone to watch the podcast and listen to the podcast you know because that's how i'll be delivering information to the world okay chris you froze yeah. you guys froze yeah he's back did you guys freeze <laughs> i saw all your faces go like <laughs> you like yeah that's funny i like that a lot um a place at the table so how soon are you guys thinking about trying to do this it's going to take a little bit to plan right Exactly. Yeah. So let's let's say set some time up for it in the springtime, because be mindful, okay. we're, we're in Philadelphia. You know what I mean? And yeah, I'm quite down there every now and then when I come down for family events and things like that. But okay. this right here is also going to be like a great family event for me too, because anybody who's trying to do what we're trying to do, I consider them family. You know what I mean? Right. Sure. Yeah. It takes a lot of balls to do this kind of stuff. Any of these things, I and think, to write a me. book, to start a publication company or a media company when you don't know nothing yeah. about it. <laughs> right. <laughs> I think that's a great that's a great message in and of itself. It's you know, like we didn't really, I personally didn't come from a lot, so to be doing yeah. anything in this kind of space is a miracle to me. <laughs> you know, right. exactly. And, and and welcome to the club, Chris, because um, yeah, I was one that. Huh. Mm, mm, I was the one who said it was basically, you'll never amount to this. You'll never do anything that had my share of incarcerations, addictions, alcoholics. Um, mm -hmm. But I, but we do recover, you know what I mean? And this yeah. is yeah. the after effect that we don't look yeah. like what we've been through. You get right. where I'm coming from? And um, when I told people that I was going to launch my own publication company from behind prison walls, you know, I only had like 10 minutes on the telephone and Oh man, you know, you know, you know, they were really waiting for the time to run out, you know what I'm saying? So they could say, Man, this dude crazy, you know. Yeah. I've been through that, you know. Yeah. Um, throw some corn chips or something, tell us tell us something else, man. That's not gonna work for you. You know, get a job. You ain't doing that. You ain't doing that. Yeah, yeah. Dude. But, but, but he continued yeah. to believe. Yeah, but I continue to believe and those are the same people today who I'm reaching out to to let them know that hey, your dream can come true too. You know, right. and it, was, it added fuel to my fire for success. And I never quit. And I met my wife here mm -hmm. after incarceration. I was in the halfway house. They prevented me from going back to North Carolina. Mm -hmm. And by her having a majors in business administration, and she's a property manager, I never told her I was a published author because I was writing for SG Publishing. And yeah. um, I went through some ups and downs with contracts with the, with the, with the, with the company. And it got to the point where... I didn't want to do it no more. But my wife, once she wasn't my wife at the time, she came into my life and said, Hey, you're not going to give up now. We're going to, we're going to get this crack. And I had like eight manuscripts that was just sitting there. Didn't know what to yeah. do with them or anything. Cause I was ignorant towards the business. And she showed me the typing skills. You know what I mean? She showed me how to download and everything right. just blew up just like that. And now Eminem publications is a success. And that's how we got Felicia, man, because her story, 
It's the yep. same situation that I have been through because we're from the same neighborhood. She was yep. auntie in the neighborhood when we was coming yep. up. You get what I'm coming okay. from? All right. And, 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 and overcoming everything that she's been through, I yeah. said, wow, I want to give back. You get what I'm coming from? Yeah. And, and hearing Felicia's story and her being my aunt, you know, I mean, growing up, like Aunt Felicia, Aunt Renee, you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I said, who else can I help better than her to get her story out there? Wow. You know right. what I mean? And, and that's what we did, you know. And you guys did a great we, job. The the book is fantastic. Phenomenal. Oh, we yeah. grinded day and night, day and night. Now, oh, I'm not a perfect geez. person now, but Felicia, she called like, hey, yo, we got to fix this part right here. This is what we, you know. And yeah. also, yeah. Iron Shopping's Iron, it was time where she was going through what she was going through by pulling a scab off her old wound that had done yeah. healed. And she had right. to relive that pain. And she, at times, we had to coach her through mental breakdowns. So it wasn't yeah. an easy job. See, people just see a book. Mm-hmm. Yeah, People just yeah. see Mac Media Network. But they yeah. don't know what goes on behind the scenes mm-hmm. in order for all this to take place. You know, come on, what happened beforehand to get us to this spot. Like the whole, my, right. I'm telling a story, even with my short form content, even my TikToks and stuff, I'm telling a long story of, there's little nuggets in there of overcoming my struggles. You know what I mean? Right. If you're watching the whole thing, you can kind of see it. But, you know, I think everything that I, I want to do, and like you said, I really want to show these people that have doubted me my whole life. Like, no, I can yeah. do this kind of stuff. I can't. Oh you know what I mean? <laughs> so, I don't know, flex on them haters. You know? <laughs> hey, yo, and Chris, when, when, I, when I see you, I was like, that guy should be on CBS Morning News. Yes. You I love I'm that. <laughs> because us yeah. as people, man, due to the walk that we went through, we are some very intelligent people Yeah. Yes. who just had some shortcomings in our life. But together, right. us three together, we'll probably build a rocket like they've never seen before that can go past the moon. Wow. That was a yeah. You know where I'm coming from? Yeah. And that moon that I'm talking about and that rocket I'm talking about is our success because right. we didn't yeah. let nothing hold us back from building our rocket That's of right. success. Yeah, in fact, we waded talking. through some bullshit to get here. You know, yeah, right. <laughs> that's right. That's right. So, so when I see you behind your microphone, and when I see you playing the guitar and stuff, I see overjoyed from pain. You know yeah. where I'm coming from? Yeah. Like this is this is your time. Yeah. You know what that's I'm how from? I feel. <laughs> and, and, and you give me the hope that this is my time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I yeah. together. Us together, we give Felicia the hope that this is her time. And together, we're a family, and it's our yeah. time. Think about Hell it. Yeah. Mac Media, Mac Ray. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. You get what I'm coming from? I like that. Felicia That's a good play on words. <laughs> you, know, all, you know, you get what I'm coming from? So it's not a, a accident or a coincidence. This was a purpose. Right. Yeah. You get what I'm yeah, coming no, from? No, there is no more coincidence in, in this life. Like, all these things that happened, me meeting Felicia and you, and having my company at the same time, that is God to me. That's how I've come to learn God now because I did not believe in God when I got to the program. Yeah. I yes. was an atheist. I was very aggressively yes. atheist. And through that. the program, and really it was coincidences like yeah. this where things just happen to fall in place at the right time. That's what got me to believe in God. Yes. I got fired one day when I first got here. I got fired one day and um, I was in a meeting almost crying like I didn't have a home. And I just lost my job and I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do. And I was crying about it in a meeting and a guy there got me a job and I started like two days after that. So like that, that particular moment was when I kind of started believing in God. It like, huh, somebody's looking out for me. Like I was just complaining about my day and I got a job now, you know? So, So many of those things have happened since then that I don't even bat an eye. It's not a coincidence anymore. That's how God is working in my life, personally. Yeah. You know, that's just how you know, I see it. You know, hearing Felicia's story, and I was sharing her with the story that I sent you about the book called "The Difference Between Negroes." Mm-hmm. Um, I want to share that it has nothing to do with race. I want the I want the public to know that, and the audience okay. to know that it has absolutely mm-hmm. nothing to do with race. Um, growing up in the South, you know, um, we had already had our share back in the days. I was born in the seventies. You know, okay. um. But, my, a lot of my family members grew up in South Carolina with sharecroppers and things like that. So yeah. being incarcerated, 
when I went North to the Stars and Stairs to be released to go back to North Carolina. Come back. Come back. Hi, Felicia. Chris. <laughs> How you doing? Frozen. I'm doing good. I'm not frozen. Me neither. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there they go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there he is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you got me? Gotcha. Yeah, we're back. back. Okay. You're back. So they told me at the last minute, my family was sitting outside on the other side of the fence waiting for me to come home so they can take me back to Durham, North Carolina, where I'm my soil. I get to the sergeant desk, get dressed, get my money. And he said, hey, man, you know you can't go back to North Carolina at the last minute. You got to go to a halfway house in Chester. I said, halfway house? I don't pay. He said, well, I don't know what happened. Somebody should have told you. Anyway, I was up here with the clothes on my back, a few clothes that my family bought me, you know what I mean, to change clothes, you know what I mean, and a pair of shoes. And I was stuck up here with the money, a cell phone, and the only thing that I had. And then I was auctioned off to a window company, you know what I mean, which I don't care to say the name of it. Yeah. But there they preyed on alcoholics, felons, drug addicts, Hispanics who knew very little English, and people with economic issues for their personal gain. And, and they, hide, they hide it under the guise that they're helping out, right? Yes, and it's a family-run business. And so me being from the South, I recognized the modern-day plantation due to the things that we were accustomed to Back in the yeah. back in the back in the days, which I never thought would have actually been up here in Pennsylvania. <laughs> you know, if you didn't do this and you didn't do yeah. that, or you didn't let it run over you, I'm gonna call your parole officer and get you locked back up. You know, stuff like that. You get what I'm coming yeah. from? Uh, yeah. I had a house to go to, and he said, basically, I hired you full time. Damn it, not part time. You go to the house, you I'm gonna fire your ass. You know. But I went on and got my crib. You know, you get what I'm coming from? So. Yeah. Me being who I used to be, I witnessed growth that we do recover. I let it all roll off my back. Mm -hmm. I didn't get mad. I didn't amp out on them. I didn't use. I didn't drink. You know, those are the first things that I knew how to do. You get what I'm coming right. from? But I continue to do like you did, Chris. Pressed on. Like you did, Felicia. Pressed on. You get what I'm coming from? And that's why we're, where we're at today because growth. We recognize not what's yeah. before us, but also what's behind the curtain if we was right. to do these things. You get what I'm coming from? Yes. And today I'm walking on sunshine. You get what I'm coming from? Because yeah. we do recover. I'm not out That's in the right. street walking by somebody's house like, damn, they're having a good time. I wish I could bite a piece of that chicken. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You get what I'm coming from? Or no. you see everybody happy at Christmas time and you steady out there in the cold looking for the next one. You get what I'm coming from? Oh, yeah. You know, I don't miss that at all. Yo, those those no, days are long gone. Or my mom coming out on the corner saying, here, baby, just here's a plate. I know you ain't going to come home, but here's a plate of $50. You get what I'm coming from? Felicia, no. You yeah. get what I'm yeah. coming from? Today, my family believes in me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The day they can depend on me. You know, I just buried yeah. my father, you know, and whoever would ever thought that I would be leading the family as basically the tribal chief. You get what I'm coming from? Yeah. I was the one that was all counted out. You get what I'm coming from? That's why yeah. I reach out to Felicia, you, because you guys, it ain't even really about the business. It's you guys keep me afloat mentally. Mm. Yeah. I don't I don't well, have association. I don't have association. Yeah. I do yeah. now. I got people who know about me who I don't have to be a phony around who accept me for who I am. Yeah. You know? Right. You know? That's right. So the business is the last thing about it. It's about what I like to do. You know what I mean? Right. You know? I think all three of us, more than anything, we have a message. And yeah. then we yeah. also got businesses now and, and different yeah, projects. Right. But That's the right. first thing is we got a message. We want to help someone. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. And we've and been there. Very we can talented. Help. Very talented. Uh -huh. And if you had hey. the right... You know, I just wish somebody can discover this precious talent that I get an opportunity to see mm -hmm. myself. You know what I mean? I right. mean, one plug to the right place, you know, just to see this talent because it's being, you know, it's not being seen enough for yeah. you guys to really blow up like you need right. to do. Because you right. should well, be I'm going to flood the zone. I promise you that. I'm going to flood yeah. the zone with as much content as I can put out. Yeah, and, and it's coming. Yeah. It's coming. Watch yeah. what I tell yeah. you. No, and nothing can, yeah, nothing can stop us when we're yeah. together. Right. Sometimes I'll be promoting. I say, man, mm -hmm. I'm getting tired of this, man. It, sometimes sales up, sometimes sales down. But I refuse mm -hmm. to give up mm -hmm. because right. I done been down before. So yeah, was We've already given up. up. We've already right. done that. You know, right. we know what happens. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. You yeah. Know. Yeah. Well, I love so, that. 
That, yeah. That's that's where we at, you know. You know, yeah. it's Friday I, and I'm sitting in the house like this. You get what I'm coming from? Yes, sir. Look what yeah. I'm drinking. I, I would have been sold that. I ain't even got a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Ginger beer, <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, folks. Ninja beer. Oh yeah. yeah you know, saucy you know. tonight, huh? Yeah, you know. <laughs> so I'm just thank God that I'm not out in the streets tonight. You know what I'm coming from? And, and yeah. it's raining outside. I used to didn't care about that. But the day I'm in the confines of a house and I'm chilling and I'm and I'm and I'm socializing with some positive friends, man. And I got a beautiful yeah. wife that, that supports me through all the things I think of when I talk goals and dreams. He is the best. Mm-hmm. That, that's a miracle to find a girl that likes what you're doing. <laughs> that was not the case for me. Hey, Chris, when I first met her, I lied to her. Though. You know, you know, you get a little addict sometimes and like try to come out to you. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I didn't want to tell I was in a halfway house. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but but if I'm going to tell her? Pro- yeah, if I want to tell her honest program, I said, look, I don't know how you're going to take this or not, but um, I live in a halfway house. <laughs> What was that? What was that? I, I didn't hear you. Yeah, that's what she said. Like, what you say? So I'm living the hard way. But then once I told her, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> she was like, well, that's nothing. You know, um, I'm by your side. I understand. We can get through this. You know what I mean? And I, I found yeah. out it was all right to be me. You get what I'm coming from? Absolutely. Absolutely. That's a beautiful you know? thing. If you When you can be yourself in front of your partner, that's a beautiful yeah. thing. That is the most amazing. Yes. Yes. Hell yeah. Well, that's good. I think um, what we, me and Felicia, should go out to breakfast again and um, try to hit up that place. Let's pick a date just so we have a target to put pressure on us. What about you said spring, right? April's in the spring. You want to do something in April? Yes. Let's let's do it like, huh? April's next month, right? Yeah, April's next month. You want to try to, like, oh, early, yeah. March, early March. Yeah. I mean, uh, early May. May. Early May. Yeah. Sorry. May. Let's do May. Probably on a weekend, right? That'd yeah. be great. That'd be great. That'd you got to give me time yeah. to uh, get everything situated around right here and, and get my books and get my table and stuff loaded up. You know, and I, I really I can't wait to meet you in the flesh, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm excited, I, I, too. I, I, really, I really can. I can't even wait to take a picture with, uh, with all four of us together. You know what I mean? Yeah. That'll be good. That'll be the the yeah. profile picture for the pod. <laughs> yes, yes. Because I see yeah. me, you know, I feel with us together and the ideas that you have and I have and Carolyn have and Felicia have. Mm-hmm. I feel like yeah. I could be the first one to do a two B movie in Durham. Yes. Yeah. That would be cool. I thought the same thing. I was thinking the same thing. Like I told Chris. Yeah, I'm Chris was meant for this. Chris I, was I, meant for this. So Chris, I never really I thought about you, making bro. a movie yeah, up until you know recently I mean? because uh-huh. I made a music video just to try it to see if I could do it and like make it work. Oh God, and I could. It's good. I can. <laughs> he did. Yeah. yeah. Wow. He so did. I mean, I think in the future you're gonna see a lot more uh like skit type stuff where I, I write I write out everything and I'm doing a lot more acting in my content, but that's down in the future. I'm still working on it in my head, you know? Yeah. So Felicia, in your movie, are you going to play you or are you going to get um, Angela Bassett or somebody to play it? Or? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Who's your favorite actress? You, you know what would be hilarious? Get, get like a, a, a white girl, a tiny white girl. <laughs> no, no, no. You know who I'm thinking about, Chris? Uh, Do you remember um, Carmen? Miss mm-hmm. Carmen? Diego? No, Miss Carmen at um, Healing Transition. The one who mm-hmm. had that radio type voice. <laughs> no. Miss yeah. Carmen. So she's like you? six. She'd she's be the six, one? Six. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All but right. I don't know. I don't know. I, w- I, don't, know. Uh, yeah. I don't know. It's going to be good for you. Wait, 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 wait. Because, without, because of you, we all are here together. Yeah. You know, Felicia, right. so you're I think you came yeah. up with Amazing. I think you came up with a great idea, Felicia. I really do. Go. Yeah. yeah. I try my best. Still... Yeah, I try. <laughs> it's gonna work. This is going to work. It is. This is going to work. Oh, yeah. This is going to work. It can't not work because we're all we're all doing it. So that's right. Yes. Yeah. That's right. My philosophy is you can't fail if you don't quit. You know? That's right. Mm-hmm. So, and I'm so, not gonna uh, quit. Felicia, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to put some pamphlets together, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm going to try to send them down there to you, and that way you can, because you're down there, you can pass them out to have people aware of it. 
and also maybe yeah. put one up in there and let them know Mac Media Network is sponsoring a book sign and such and such. You, you, I'm, I'm going to hook it up. It. You get what I'm coming from? Yeah. You know, Dude, really, uh, why don't we meet like every couple weeks or something to just talk about where we're at and what we're doing okay. and see, yeah. you know, because I think we, we're going to we go secure the place. We'll go get the place, me and Felicia. We could probably do that yeah. in the next three weeks, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and if that doesn't work out, we'll just go, I'll just go talk to everyone. You know, someone will say yes, eventually. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And then we'll try we'll, we'll, we'll get that locked down. Yeah. Cause I'm gonna try to get a easel or something like tattoo with Mac media network and them, them publications on it. So people can even take pictures with you, Felicia and myself and my wife. You get what I'm coming from? Yeah, I mean, yeah I'm absolutely. Really like, yeah. I'm really like trying to like really promote all of us to, to yeah. the high extent. You get what I'm and coming from? When we from? get there yeah. as we present ourselves, like, we almost present ourselves like celebrities, kind of not like. Yeah. Well, 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 we we are, Chris. We are, we are. We right? Are. We're a we big are. deal. So. Yeah. We are. Yeah, we, yeah, we yeah. are. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely, we are. We definitely are. I like that. And, and, and this is just the beginning. And I can't wait till the day come you will celebrate you guys being totally discovered. I'm serious. Oh. Yeah. I cannot wait. Wait on my life for that. I got to wait on my life. <laughs> but I see it. It's coming. Yeah. Wow! I think so. you can't never give up. Yeah, and the, the podcast is doing good. Um, at least on YouTube and on Spotify, they're yes. regular listeners. We have I'm getting f- new followers on the podcast every day, so that's good. And there's they're still listening to the older ones every day, so there's mm-hmm. traction every day. <laughs> yes, yeah, so Felicia's podcast, the podcast y'all did, she had my grandmother crying, man. I'm like, wow, dude. We have so many comments on YouTube that yeah. was, it took me like an hour to respond to everyone. Yeah, but wow. it, it was cool. I, I really, I loved. Wow. I was surprised by how well it did because I, all I can do is put it out into the world and hope, you know. <laughs> and uh, it did a lot better than I thought. When I seen you and Felicia do y'all podcast, you know what I really said? Huh? Man, I want a piece of that shit. <laughs> <laughs> You got the whole thing, man. I know, right? You got the whole thing, country. We on the same team, bro. That's right. We're on the same team. <laughs> Hell yeah. Dude, I'm excited. I wanted to be there with y'all so bad, man. Y'all made it just yeah. so homey and, and fun. You know, I really wanted to be there. You know, I'm like, yeah. damn, I want to be with wow. you. Know yeah. Eventually, my idea for the podcast, what I want to do is when I have enough money coming in, I do want to rent a studio space to have a table so I can sit down with the guests instead of um you know doing it via the internet. I'll still do it via the internet, but I think it would be nice just to have a place like to have guests come sit down and meet. And then it'll also double as my music studio. I'll put my music stuff there too. <laughs> All right, and I got a, and I got I, I see you like interviewing even some local rappers around there. You get what I'm coming from? Yeah. Who, 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 oh, who yeah. actually have who actually have music. I got a couple of nephews, man, who you know yeah. who you know, and everybody will tune in to Mac Media Network. So trust and believe right. my, my, my my wheels are turning. My wheels are turning. I see it. You know what and I love it. Yeah. I'm going to be yeah. getting guests because of my friends now. My friends are like, hey, I ran into this dude. Uh, he's really interesting. I told him about your podcast. He said he would do it. Like, friends are now, you guys also, like, friends are, yeah. are starting to flood the uh, podcast thing. And that's exactly yeah. what I wanted. I, you know, I created this some sort of buzz where people are now throwing me people. And mm-hmm. they're already interested by the time they get to me. So it's kind of cool. Yeah. You know? And we're going to call it hanging out with Chris. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I know, right? <laughs> hanging with Mr. Out Cooper. With Chris. For real. Like, you know, you know, you know, you know, everybody hates Chris. Everybody loves Chris. You know? Yeah. We're going to remix that. You feel me? Oh, that'd be so fun. Yeah, yeah, that's what they want, yeah. man. Let, let's hang out with Chris. You know what I mean? Like tonight. Hey, yeah. y'all, let's go, let's go hang out with Chris on a Friday night. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> That'll be you the know? Friday night thing. Hang out yeah. with Chris. Yeah, I'm down. Yeah. Friday night, hang out with Chris. You know what I mean? I'll play some yeah. music. We'll talk about some yeah. stuff. We'll record yeah. it all and put it out to the world. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm, I'm trying to tell you people, Chris, the thing that you yeah. least expect is America drains, it flows off that. You get what I'm coming from? Uh, yeah, it does. Yeah. I mean, they pay people to dribble a basketball. They pay people to kick a soccer ball. They pay people to hit a tennis ball. They pay people right. to catch a football. They pay people to hike a football. You get what I'm coming from? Yeah. Why not pay Why some not? people that are helping others? Yeah. Right. Right. Hey, Chris. Make it a hey, hey, Chris. Chris. <laughs> hey, 
Chris. You know That's the name of my new podcast. Hey, hey Chris. Country. Yeah, everybody hey. hang out with Chris. We're going to start hanging out with Chris, y'all. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> His show is the bomb. That's right. Yeah. It's going to rival Joe Rogan one day. That's what I want. I want yeah, it to I'm be gonna... huge. And I have people all up here. I have people up here. I'm, I have people all up here tuning in. I'm, I'm dead serious, man. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. I have a lot of my, my friends gave good feedback on on all yeah. the podcasts so far. So that's that's yeah. been nice. I just told Felicia I linked up with a new artist named Crystal Alexis. She has her own. She's out in Chicago. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. She's trying to get on the promotion team. You get what I'm coming from? She's a, a big time marketer. You know what I mean? She does like seven urban companies. So I'm talking about yeah. like taking it to the next level, getting girls who are on your show who do hair and hair salons. Yeah. And, you know, you know what I'm saying? Gossip with Chris. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Give you me know, the tea. Like tea with Chris. That's what I want. Oh yeah, tea with Chris. Tea with Chris. Yeah, now give me, all, tell me all your secrets. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, it's different things that you can have different type of segments. You get what I'm coming from. But my yep. joint is gonna be Friday night hanging with right. Chris. You know what I mean? Friday night with Chris. It don't like cost it. you nothing. It ain't nothing to drink. You ain't got to drink. You ain't got to get high. Yep. Just have a good time. So, you know what I'm saying? Just hang out. You ain't gotta, just hang out. You ain't got the dirtiest carpet. <laughs> 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 Hell yeah! I like that. I like all these ideas, man. This is gonna be great. Yeah, this is gonna be great. Fine. So yeah. come down, I'm gonna have some. I'm gonna have some some lists of things, and maybe you'll like them. You know what I mean? Maybe you can work with them. But I definitely yeah. um, it's a lot of guys who want spotlights, <clears throat> who's up and coming rappers who actually have videos, YouTube videos, be doing opening for concerts and stuff. My nephew yeah. is two of them. I got two nephews who does it, and and they know people. You know what I'm saying, like Petey Pablo yeah. and stuff like that. Even though he he's an old one, of the old OGs in the in the game. But hey, yeah. we're trying to take you to the next level and get you some ratings, man. You know what I'm saying? Make yeah, I want them all. What it is? I want them all. I I hit up a bunch of creators on Instagram that have big followings, and I got one guy that has agreed to come on the podcast. Um, he's he's got like half a million followers, and he's he's a he does gym content. He does workout content, but he's he was really, really, really big. And like his yeah. whole thing is he's coming out. He's gonna do this to show his kids that he can he can lose the weight and be strong and be fit and that kind of stuff. So his story is just it's strong. And I was bugging him. Like I saw him on Instagram every day. I see him on Instagram. So I was I started hitting him up on Instagram. He was ignoring me. Then I saw him on Threads, and I started hitting him up on Threads. And then he finally was like. Yo, man, I'll reach out to you when I'm ready, but yeah, I'll do the podcast. So I was like, sweet. Yeah. So I pes- I pestered him, but he's going to come. <laughs> Chris, the press do it. Why not you? I, I kind of becoming the press. I'm a media. I'm in the media space, so I might as well enjoy yeah. it or do do what they do, you know? Yeah. Then that's what we can call this cast, too. Press. <laughs> press. Yeah. press with Chris. <laughs> I was at a I was at a, a Duke basketball game a couple of weeks ago, and um, we were we were sitting courtside. You were there. I nice. seen it. I seen it. Those seats, man. How did you walk through you the go bottom? This past yeah. <laughs> well, I, I had the hook up. I got some guys at work that they get t- good tickets all the time, so they yeah. hooked us up, and we were sitting there right behind you know the out of bounds line, and there was like three or four younger people in their twenties with these media vests on. I'm like, huh. I had an idea. I was like, I started hitting up the Hurricane Stadium. Like, hey, how do I get a media vest? I own a media company. I would love to come make content uh, at the Hurricanes game. So I'm going to reach out to all of the stadiums and all the sporting events and start, start planting seeds about letting me in. Let me get a vest and let me come and make some content. You know? Exactly. Yeah. You know, my son, he's a uh, police sergeant in Houston, Texas. And there's mm-hmm. a lady out there called Grizzly News. And what she was doing... She had a scanner, and when something go down, she'll go there and do her own newscast. Yeah, she's making right. she's making big money today off her own yeah. press. The 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 the, the uh, police yeah. department now uses her. Right, to, she's a force. You know, <laughs> yeah, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, I do want to get into a situation where I'm like that. <laughs> yeah. You know. So the thing what I'm yeah. trying to say is like, hey. Anything in America, what people want, it does. You get what I'm coming from? Especially when we're talking yep. about sales and making it. Right. Mm-hmm. Like Donald Trump. Right. Everybody like Donald Trump, basically, because he tell it like it is. You get what I'm saying? Yep. He's funny. Yeah. It's comedy. You get what I'm coming from? 
and and, yeah. and, and, that, and that, that, it's something different. You get what I'm coming from? Mm-hmm. He draws attention because it's something different. You get what I'm That's what from? it is. He, yeah. he can bring people in. You know, yeah. You, yeah, he'll, he'll like, make you mad, but you're still coming in. <laughs> yeah, they're like, they're like, did he just say that? You know, I'm not, I'm not really into politics, but I just give him credit what credit is due, man. Yes. He say things that no other president has ever said, and and that's what the American people generations done changed. You know what I mean? Right. That's, that's yeah. what we thrive off of today. You know what I mean? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, a, a political yeah. wrestling match, and I love WWE. <laughs> you, another thing too when i got into this like i just got into sales seven months ago eight months ago i'd never done sales before in my life and mm-hmm. i always knew i had a like a good personality people like talking to me i always had knew that but i was so broke you know eight months ago that i needed to make a a move like a big move and i jumped into sales found out that i'm pretty good at it but i'm learning a lot of skills that lend themselves to this to media to the media stuff Like my mind thinking about going to go talk to these people that you would never talk to, to try to get media passes. Like my brain works like that now. And it's, it's crazy. (laughs) You know, this is your calling, Chris. I mean, this is all our calling, man. That's why we're hearing this together. You know, if you look at the thing, it's a Trinity, man. You get what I'm coming from? And that's why we're here, man. Because he's in the midst of all this, you know? Let me tell you this story yesterday. So, I had a suicide attempt a long time ago in uh, 2020 during the pandemic before I moved out here. And I went into the crazy person house, right? The uh, behavioral health center for like two weeks or something. And when I got out, I remember that like all the suicidal feelings came back and I was so depressed right after I got out of this hospital. I was talking to my ex-wife and I told her we were, we were fantasizing about moving to North Carolina and, uh, and I was trying to figure out what I was going to do when I got here. And what I was, I told my ex-wife at the time that day that I was going to do something that involved a microphone if we ever go to North Carolina. And here we are. Yeah. I am with a microphone doing something. You're on the mic. Chris, on yeah. the mic. It's really nice. Yeah, Chris, I traded in Aquaman. You did? Yeah. Don't do that. Aquaman's the Ooh. shit. For I who? know he was. He was. But for now who? I have huh? I trade her I trade him in to Nissan for Scarlet. She's Burgundy. Burgundy her name Scarlet. Is Scar- uh-huh. Her name is Scarlet. Okay. I like that. <laughs> oh, there we are. Hey. Hey. There <laughs> you are. Uh book summary. I'm gonna uh, create a Google invite for all of us. Okay. I truly apologize, y'all, for my Samsung Galaxy. <laughs> you it's are the good. weather. Yes, it definitely is. Look it's, how dark it is. It's, right <laughs> it it's coming this yeah. way because it's supposed to be here tomorrow. Yeah, it's going to yeah, have severe thunderstorms tomorrow. Yeah, then they talking about it because turning to snow. Who wants snow? You know? I do. Yeah. Not me. I am good. I want to know. Felicia, what's your email? Covington. Wait a minute. Take. Erase that. It's Blackfoot. No, Blackfoot. 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 Oh, there you are. Never mind. There you got it. Okay. And then what was yours? Mine is MM C R A E. 749 at gmail.com. See, I got two. Thinking about that one. I seen Country and Carolyn where um these kids got shot at the bus stop. It was real bad up here. Eight of them got shot and two of them in critical condition. Yes. Right? Going to school. Going yeah, to school. Going to school. Kids. And the, Starting and the, school? Uh, Yes, the, mm-hmm. the day before that, high school, and the day before that, five got shot, and an old lady was on the bus, 70-year-old got mm-hmm. shot in the head. Uh, and she didn't die head. with the Mr. Pat, that she was out grocery shopping, she had a, her buggy cart with her, and mm-hmm. just trying to make it home on Sept the bus, man. The bus is bad, man. It's, oh, yeah. It's bad. Transportation. Yeah. Yes. It's out in Philly, where you're at? Yes. 
Yes. Mm -hmm. And the mayor and everybody, Sherelle Parker, uh, the mayor, she's outstanding, man. She was actually walking out in the rain, like, like mm -hmm. trying to find some answers. You get where yeah. I'm coming from? Yes. Yeah. That's tough, man. Yeah. Cause I my co-worker, her daughter, she lives in Philly and she sent it to Leah and Leah showed it to me today. They shot like eight kids at, yeah. waiting for the bus at the bus stop. Exactly. And, yeah. And it's two of them that's in critical condition. Yeah, they stole someone's car and then um, shot somebody, mm -hmm. then to, stole another car and got away in it. You know what I'm coming mm -hmm. from? So yeah. Yeah, it's, it's just so much going on. But be mindful, I do live in Philly, but I stay in the outskirts of Philly. So mm -hmm. I'm like I'm like living in Chapel Hill. You get what I'm coming from? Right. So, right. so I hear a deer, I hear a deer, skunk, raccoons, possums, the whole nine. It's it's country up here. But the yeah. thing about it is I go do my shopping, then I come back to the confines of my house. And I stay closed up in here, man. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I got some yeah, very yeah. good neighbors and everything. It's a very nice neighborhood. But yes. mm -hmm. y'all got to come up, man. Y'all got to come up. Yeah. Oh, I'm no. sure that's in the future for sure, right? I mean, yeah. we're gonna. this relationship's going to be last a long, yeah. long time. <laughs> yeah, because Chris, I'd love to take you and Felicia. I mean, kind of love to take you and Felicia to the Red and Terminal Market for dinner. That'd be cool. We got it. over uh, a hundred or something, maybe two hundred restaurants to pick from, all in one building. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, it's a state of the go. art, man. You, you, I, I, I really want to take you, and I really want to show you all out, and we have a good time together as a team. Mm -hmm. I would love that. Yeah, absolutely. Good clean fun. Oh, yeah. yeah. Have you ever, have you guys ever hung out with uh, people who still party and try to go party with them? No. No, I this, have. This is my and it sucks. This is my my, my best <laughs> friend right here. Believe it or not, I have some family members that that still like have a good time. Yeah, and I can't be there. You get what I'm coming from? Dang, I done tried that in the we past. I done tried that in the past. Never, it never worked for me. Bad. Yeah, they're getting so, hammered over there. Yeah, exactly. It's like, hello, how y'all? Oh, y'all about to turn up? It's, I gotta go. <laughs> yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? So I, I mainly when I go down there, I hang with the elders. You get what I'm coming from? Yeah, it's a better yeah. time. I've tried it a couple times, like hanging out with good friends, and it's fine for a little bit. But once everyone starts get buzz and and they got their their yeah. drink, they're drunk a little bit, then they're just assholes and like you know, like I was. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, but you know the difference between me. I told uh, Felicia one time the difference between me and them when I played the whole tape. See, I'm not gonna stop until I go to jail. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh yeah. Or, or I'm not gonna get up and after they do it and go to work the next day. I'm everything bets is off. You get what yeah. I'm coming from? That's right. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go till I drop. You know what I mean? You know, I'm the and, same and, way. You yeah. see what I'm saying? I don't know how to, I don't know how to be a sociable addict. You get what mm -hmm. I'm coming from? Or an alcoholic? I want to drink it all until it's gone. When that's gone. I want to go and try to convince the, the man at the store, man, just sell me one Cisco. You know yeah. what I mean? It's two o'clock in the morning, man. I just put it in it my pocket. It don't matter. And, <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm coming from? So the thing about this, I know that I really have a disease, man. And my disease always land me in prison. You yeah. know, I done been shot before. You know what I mean? I done had my share of ups and I done been stabbed before. You get what I'm coming from? Mm. And I lived all of it to be, to, to be able to tell the story. To tell but this I story. Know, yeah, yeah, but I know for a fact I have a disease that is hard to tame, and I don't ever want to open that cage up ever again. Yeah. That's scary. Cocaine and alcohol opened up doors in my life that took me 27 years to close. Mm. Yeah. You get what I'm coming from? That's powerful. You see That's what I'm powerful. saying? Powerful. It took me 27 years to close those doors of addiction. Wow. Yeah. And the day I take one day at a time, but I know the first step, powerlessness. I used to didn't think that I thought I was Superman, but now I realize that the disease of addiction is my kryptonite. You know what yep. I'm saying? And I can't do it no more because I won't be able to fly nowhere, especially as far as success. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know. <sighs> you know what I think I'll do for this? I'm gonna ed I'll edit this and put it out, but this will be the first piece. And I'll, I'll put the date on it too. You know, coming up, we got a big, uh, I'll word it better, but we got this book signing event with Eminem Publications, author, for, local author, Felicia Covington. You know, I'll make it all as big as I can. But... 
sponsored by Mac Media Network. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, and come hang out with Chris. Come hang with Chris, <laughs> y'all. <laughs> you know, come hang out with Chris. Yeah. Have some fun. Everybody loves the... Chris. <laughs> Hopefully. We'll see. Yeah. Not everybody. <laughs> yes, we do. Yeah, yeah. Everybody <laughs> loves Chris. We got a new generation now. Everybody right. loves Chris. You know what I mean? <laughs> Some fresh talent. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fresh talent. Yeah. Right you got fresh what it takes, Chris. Felicia got what it takes. That's why we're all here together in company and unity. Because yes, we was counted out, man. You get what I'm coming yeah. from? Yeah. We was counted out. And don't none of us look like what we've been through. Mm. Right. See what I'm saying? And yep. the day we walking on sunshine. That's my favorite song. Like Katrina and Will. Walking on sunshine. I and I want that. I'm a Pearl Jam fan too, but don't get it twisted. I love my heavy metal, you know what I'm saying? And my rock, <laughs> Billy Idol, the whole now, Ozzy, Black Sabbath, you name it. Yeah, Don't definitely. Arrow Smith. I love Arrowsmith. that about you. Yeah. <laughs> Arrowsmith, you know come saying? on. But the thing about it is, we live through it all to be able to play a beautiful tune together. You know what I mean? Here we go. And yeah. the music we playing today, yeah. it's going to be beautiful to the public. It's going to be beautiful. Yeah. We are going to put our masterpiece together in front of right. the public. Wow, many a call, but few are chosen. Yeah. So I right. really want to thank. I like chosen. that. You guys are chosen. I really want to thank Felicia Covington for coming up, author Felicia Covington for coming up with the idea, and Mac Media Network for even sponsoring this whole thing, man, to to get us all out there, you know, because yeah. we couldn't do it, man, by ourselves. You know, what I'm saying it takes a yeah. family to do that. You get what I'm Absolutely. saying? Yeah. And I think, and I thank y'all for yeah. being in our family you stay know determined I mean? everybody you know what i mean I, I thank you guys you know a lot of these yeah. these cool ideas i'm coming up with are because of you two so i appreciate yeah. that a lot you know and you guys are you're pumping me up like i need that sometimes you know when i'm in here by myself grinding it's it's tough thank you about it like i said they don't know you know they don't be saying yeah. like Kyle, what happened to the, the punctuation right <laughs> right you know? right you know what i'm saying you yeah. know, what they say about the flyers. How this going? How that going? You know, yeah. like Felicia. Hey, country, you missed this right here. This is what I said. This, so those are the things behind the scenes. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's all fun that you can look back on and say, yeah. we made it. That's right. you know what I mean? And we're helping. We're going to help people. Yeah. yeah. You know? yeah. That's right. I love yeah. that. Uh, we're gonna, we made it, and we're going to help others make it as well. That's yeah. right. That's, so, that's the goal. We rise yeah. by lifting others. That's right. So what is the call, Felicia? Healing transition? Yeah. No, so, place at the table is what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Okay. Having an event at place at the table. Yeah. Okay, so what do you want to say to the people about as far as having a place at the table? Oh. There's room? There's room. more than room. Yeah. There's more than room. What I was thinking, we could kind of double it too. Like we're going to promote their restaurant also during this. So yeah. that'll yeah. be a good... Um, yeah in they for them feel. to let us you know what i'm saying oh, but hey we're gonna oh, promote yeah. your restaurant yeah. we're gonna do a review on your restaurant also but hey yeah. can we come in here and um do a book signing event we'll bring a bunch of customers in you'll sell a bunch of food and we'll also oh, yeah. do this event you know oh that'll be great i didn't know it was a restaurant now yep. yeah yeah so let's make a place at the table for everybody yes <laughs> and that is the concept of the whole place too like you don't have to pay yeah. full price yeah. when you go in there if if you don't have a lot of money they'll they ask you how much do you want to pay? Do you want to pay half? Do you want to pay a quarter? Do you oh, want it for wow. free? Do you want to work it off? Yeah. They let you work it off. Yeah. Oh, really? That's yeah, and the proceeds go to the uh, the shelters. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's great. That's it's great. a yeah. perfect place for this. Perfect place. Yeah. yeah. I'm, yes. and, I'm, oh, and, I'm, and I'm willing to donate, too. I'm, I'm, I'm with that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You pay full price every time just yeah. because of that. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'll watch, yeah, I'll watch some dishes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, yeah it's really great. Yeah. You guys will love it. You guys will love it. <laughs> Yeah, because where I work at, we have um, I take my people that I serve. We volunteer at place at the table. Oh, that's great. For them. Yeah. yeah, I take them like on Tuesdays and Thursday. They volunteer there in the mornings at place at the table and help out. Is it near Hillsborough Road? Is it downtown or? It's downtown. It's downtown. Okay, it might okay, be right great. by Hillsborough, oh, wow. isn't it? Is it? I think it is. It off of Hillsborough? It's it's damn close. Yeah, it's right in the middle of downtown. Yeah, I definitely find it. Right yeah, I'm not, yes. 
I definitely find that. I don't think I don't, I don't think I need the address and the GPS to do the rest. Yes, sir. That's right. <laughs> so yes, let's try to do that in, in the next week, Felicia. Or next, yeah, let's try to get there in the next week. And even if they tell me no the first time, I'll we'll, we'll keep going back. No one tells me no ten times. Friends. <laughs> it's a press for a good reason though. right 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 and i think they'll jump behind this because of of who you are and what we're doing i think it's a it's a good yeah, end they will oh, i love it i love it let's do more of these all the time forever yeah, and, they will, and they will thank you later trust and believe they will right. thank you later yeah right I mean, excuse me everybody gonna blow up I know, right? Yes, we are. The climbers and lifters. Yeah. Right, right. Yes. <laughs> we love yes. That's right. Yeah. I love that. Thank you for listening to Almost Above Average. A big thank you to author Felicia Covington and Carolyn and Country McRae, owners of Eminem Publications. The biggest compliment you can give the show is to share with a friend and please, please, please leave us a five star rating as we try to break into the algorithm. Almost Above Average is produced by McMedia Network and Entertainment.